All I have for you is a word. Tenant. It'll open some of the right doors, but some of the wrong doors too. Go to the beginning. Hi, I am Micah Mayfield. I'm a gun expert. As you can see, this is my baby. And here's my ride. That's a seat. Got sure. a back. This is also my baby. Three, three rounds. I got a. Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the talking gray man attire. Talking about club for all intents and purposes today, I wanted to do a tenant theme because I enjoyed the movie Tenant and I want to talk about going back in time. Now, my guest on the channel today is someone that uh, he's quickly become a friend of mine, and he is someone that I would like to talk to about this and kind of talk to the younger guys, the younger gun guys that say maybe watch this. You may be just like a teenager, you may be on the precipice of becoming an adult, maybe you might be a young adult. And while we don't have the authority to talk about a lot of stuff in life. Well, we do have a little bit of authority to talk about <laughs> what we know. So it kind of gives us the right to, to talk about it just a little bit. But without further ado, Mr. Mayfield, come on, get over here. Get over here. Now, welcome to the channel, sir. Very happy to have you here. Now, if you don't know who this hipster-looking man is, he is the cameraman for the all-knowing, almighty, all-powerful Garand Thumb. That's me. That's him. I film for Garand Thumb. Garen Thumb, yes, this is the one. Now, one of the reasons, Micah, that I wanted to do the tenant vibe for this video is that I wanted to talk about going back in time. Now, yeah. I saw a video from you recently. Yeah. It was of you as a young lad. How old were you in this? Oh, dude, that had to be 2006, seven? No, probably like 2005. What, you'd have been like, what, uh, eight, nine? Probably nine. Dude, so, th so for the context of this, and I'll throw it up for you, but Micah is playing with his airsoft guns. He has like this red wagon. He's talking about, I'm Micah Mayfield, and I'm an expert on firearms or some dumb thing like that. It wasn't right? a wagon. That was my technical. Oh, my bad. Hey, my it bad. It was a dude. red right. technical. But essentially, what I want to talk about was a little bit of kind of where we've come from as young gun guys. And also wanted to give some advice and also life advice okay. to the younger guys yeah. that are a little bit younger than us. Because how old are you? I'm 26. 26. I'm about the same age as you, right? I'm, I, I can't say exactly what. I'll say I'm 25, right? Who cares? I'll say I'm 25. And while we don't have a ton of life experience, we've lived just enough life to have a little bit of advice we can give to the younger guys, right? The advice we can give, we will give. Right, yes, yes. right, right. I mean, I'm not going to uh, uh, teach you 30-year-old uh, samurai tactics. I'm, no. We can. We could. We could. You want to switch to that? Yeah, actually, hey, we're going to actually cut this video. We're going to switch over to do some samurai tactics. Um, we'll catch you guys on the flip. Let's go. Come on.
Gentlemen, I know you're on the toilet. I know you're watching this, drinking your beer, eating your coffee. If you could, do me the solid. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm god, a god of which who has uh, a mustache and is a hipster like Mr. Mayfield. Gentlemen, a big thank you to LAS for being one of the sponsors of this video. The best gun you have is the one that is on you when the threat arises, and LAS can help keep that gun retained to your body for when you need it most. Another company I'm very excited to have sponsoring this channel is going to be Nocturne Industries. They are advancing the night vision game, offering housings, units, and products that take your end user level to, well, the next level. Go ahead and check them out. Let them know that I sent you, and they will help you see in the dark where carrots have failed you now so the for the first question for our young gun guys i want to get answered is if you could go back in time and give your younger self some life advice whether you were a kid whether you were an adult or a young adult just you know just turning 18 what would you give that this one's easy young guy honest. this is easy uh my number one thing if you can't tell from that video we just played was like dude i loved guns and i loved making videos when i was nine yeah um Everybody was like, Micah, you're going to end up in Hollywood. You're going to be like a Hollywood camera guy. That's what you're going to do. My parents bought me computers to edit on, cameras. I remember my, uh, thanks mom for my Canon T3i and my Rokinon cinema lens. That's where, that's where it started. That's where it started. That was back in junior high. But uh, back, yeah, I really wanted to. And I quickly started to realize, uh, I didn't realize, but I lied to myself that I couldn't do that. Yeah. I graduated high school and went to technical college to become a mechanic where I was a mechanic for six years, which was hell. Um, if I had just pursued mm -hmm. what I originally wanted to do, I know I would have done it earlier. Um, it seemed so impossible. So at the time I would tell people like, guys, you don't just become a cinematographer. You don't, there's no jobs. I, we live in Washington. Like what, I got to move to LA if I want to be a, uh, Oh God. Yeah, exactly. So I thought it was impossible. Like, what am I going to do? Shoot weddings? How am I going to find weddings? How am I going, what am I going to work for some marketing firm making like, it just seemed so unobtainable. And the hard part also is I didn't have any, uh, what's it called, a portfolio? I didn't have a portfolio, so who's going to hire me? No. I have backyard videos with my buddies, you know, fake gunshots. No, it's not impressive. Um, it seemed unobtainable. Mm. It's not. If there's something that you want to do, pursue that. You will get good at it, I promise. Like, mm. it, that's my that's my thing. Yeah. That's very good. It's it's essentially it's like hey, you're not it's not like I want to be videographer, time for a videographer success. Right. No, it doesn't work like that. It took a long time. Mm. Um I I maybe say I got lucky when I met Mike, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe I got lucky. Well, so what that is, what that is what you're saying is that yes, you're saying you got lucky, which could be a little small part of it. But don't write off the already skill behind that all the the trial and error of learning. Yeah. So it was that you already had the skill met with the opportunity is what it was. Correct. There, there you go. Yeah. The opportunity. I don't was want you. Very... I don't want you selling your. I'll, I'll like. I'll. Uh, I'll fillet your ego. I don't want you selling yourself short, because at the time it was like, hey, cool. I have the skill set, and there's this opportunity, and it's like, all right, you're the guy. Yeah. 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 The. I, I'd say the interaction, the introduction was a little happen chance though. Sure. Um, a lot of people message me like, I want to do what you do. I want to get into. Uh, firearms. I want to get into videography or not even firearms, but I want to get into videography. How did you make that connection? Which all those people mm. are going through what I went through. It's going to happen eventually. If you really keep at it and you build up your portfolio and you really keep marketing yourself and throwing yourself out there, you will get there. There will mm. be an opportunity. So I guess like what you're saying, I had to wait for that opportunity to present itself, but I did possess the skill when the opportunity came. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. I like that one. Uh, I think I'll go for me. If I was giving any advice to the younger guys, I'd say, um, I'd say be nicer to your family and parents, respect them more, spend more time with them as you can call your mom, tell her hi, tell your lover. Uh, now for some of you, you may have a very shitty home life. You may have awful family members. If that is something that you realize and you understand, Hey, Love them from afar. Don't, <laughs> you don't have to be, uh, you know, sharing misery with company and stuff like that. But if you have awesome parents, if you have people that love you, 
cherish them and spend more time with them. That's the advice I can give you. Um, you know, to be honest and be raw with you guys, I lost my dad last year and I wish I could have spent more time with him, but, uh, uh, sorry, I'm gonna get all sad, dude. Yeah, don't do dude, that. Bro. I'm gonna sad behind the ball club. Anyway, that's something I would say: is spend more time with your family, save your money, don't blow it on stupid stuff. That's exactly what I would say. Oh, that felt nice. I needed that. Now, moving on. Let's say, um, so you're married. You have a kid. Yes. So you have a, at least you've had sex at least once in your life. How would you? It was give? twice. <laughs> it was twice the first time. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't count. Um, we were Christians, if you know what I'm saying. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> If you could give some advice to the guys out there that are struggling with women and or, uh, you know, the young guys that, hey, don't know how to talk to girls, what would you say? With women, move to guys. They're much easier. <laughs> They're much easier. You know, a, a lot of my close friends are going through this right now. Uh, browsing Tinder, messaging mm -hmm. bots, uh, having good conversations with uh, Jamal uh, mm -hmm. in East India. Paying to talk to OnlyFans yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, don't force it. Mm. Um, the number one thing is a lot of people are like, I'm just like, I'm in a low spot right now, man. Like I can't find a girl. It seems like I never will. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you aren't happy alone, your relationship will not fix your sorrows. True. If you are living life happy, your confidence will be higher. Everything about you, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk will be attractive and you will find someone in your life. You need to be confident and happy with who you are while being single for that. That's pretty good. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'll add to you guys, if um, I'll add on to that, and I want to repeat and echo it, but get in the gym, quit Facebook, you're get a lawyer. Fit, you're yeah. going to die. If you are not fit, you are going to die. We always talk about physical fitness within gun culture, right? I literally made Mike, I filmed him running up a mountain today. And I do the same exact thing. And the kicker was we're wearing armor and gas masks. And how hot is it? Like 95? It's probably in the 90s today. We're entering, we're broaching into summer, breaching into summer. We're heading into summer right now. Encroaching? Yeah. Encroaching. Yeah, we're, we're crawling on in. And it's hot in Arizona. It's only going to get hotter. And guess what? No one cares. Reality does not care. My brother in Christ, you are going to die. So be fit. It helps both on the flat range. It helps in real life. And it helps with getting women. So be attractive. Rule one, be attractive. Rule number two, don't be unattractive. Whatever the, the myth of the dad bot is, uh, that's that's all uh, pro uh, communist propaganda to make sure American men are weak. So, so guns. Guns. Hey, yeah. Do you want to talk about the guns? Let's talk about the guns. Okay, so we were running uh, the Springfield Hellion. You were, at least. I like it. Yeah. It, okay. I like it. Ish. Ish. Um, it's a bullpup. It's a bullpup. Mm -hmm. It suffers from bullpup things. Uh, I think the biggest thing that it suffers from is the safety. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yes. Um, and the uh, nip. Can you get me an empty one? No, not that one. There we go. This this weirdo uh, th this get, thing. Get more in the frame. I'm not yeah. sure how close yeah. the frame. Yeah, this are. thingy right here. So like you put the mag in and you'd think that you'd squeeze, or but you you actually take your hand off the magazine, and you give it a little pinch like uh, you're playing with a nipple. Like, a nipple twist. Yeah, just like that. So I actually I don't know by the time this video comes out. I don't know when my Starship Trooper video will go live. Come on, you ape! Because I think I'll probably have the Starship Trooper video on this, yeah, and yeah. then probably take a little bit of footage from this and also use it. But Did you like it? I, you know, I ran it. I had fun. I had a good time with it. It's a bullpup. It has weird little nuances. That mag, that magwell was messing me up. It was pretty tight, especially when you're wearing a, ga <laughs> especially when you're wearing a gas mask and you like you can't really like look down and see what's going on with your peripheral, so you have to like bring it out and present it more. Yeah. Gas masks make everything harder, and especially when it's really hot outside, it's like, hey, it's, you're, you're going to die. It's kind of like the anti-bullpup. Like, yeah. it has so many things that bullpups don't have, like an adjustable stock, removable pistol grip, like yeah. all these things. That is weird. It does have adjustable stock, which is definitely interesting for yeah. a bullpup. Like, I don't think they got any credit. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, but no. it's got an adjustable stock. Yeah, that's A, impressive. I wonder if they got rid of that, if that even bring the, the, the package down a little bit more, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Then I ran the Tavor, of course. I'm getting ready to do an IDF video with this bad boy. I had a little bit of a problem with um, the casing getting stuck. Yeah. In how's the that optic? Optic is um, well, it's old and it's attached right to the <laughs> gas block. It was not doing me great. Maybe it needs a new battery, but it's coming in rather dim. Into uh, it is like I can see it. I see that dot, but it is coming in faint. Yeah. So, but I, I do, mean, I do love, of course, the aesthetic. Looking um, at it, 
brings back the uh, model for two Dupes. chat lobbies yeah. oh, to me. Yeah. Just, that's, where, that's where you went from being a boy to a man. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So that it did me good. It was fun. And I can't wait to actually do the full IDF video on it. I did a little teaser of it on my YouTube of a little picture of it. So it's going to be exciting. I'm this is, to this is all exciting. This is yeah. the first time I've ever been on a YouTube video. Is it? Yeah. Well, you're my, you're my guest star. Thank you. Yeah. I actually think we're probably going to film. So I just give it away. We're probably going to film a little bit of the IDF stuff, maybe with Grantham. Can neither confirm nor deny. NDA, I swear. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and then uh, that's that's pretty much covers the gear. I was just running some random gear telling the story of Tenant. The theme is going back in time and giving yourself some advice. So we covered a little bit of advice. We covered uh, your upbringing into the firearms kind of gun world of how you went from having the dream of being a videographer with airsoft guns and now you actually are a professional Videographer YouTube. still with airsoft. Guys. With air, it, technically, yeah, with airsoft. Yeah. We went to an airsoft event together. We, we went to Salsk. It was a good Bill time. Smith. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Um, so we covered that, right? We have a good journey going. Talk about the guns. A lot and, of lore, right? Yeah. Now, is there anything that you want to add and tell my audience? Jeez, look at the. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's got something to say here. Let him. Let him. Hey, where's that bug at? Come here. <laughs> um, what do I want to tell the audience? Is this like the ending dad advice? I'd say so. Okay. Yeah, I'd say we start wrapping it up. Yeah, it's yeah. a little hot so out here. So if I, if I were to give some dad advice, spend some time seriously thinking about conversations you've had, how you've treated people, how you've responded in certain instances, your overall image, mm -hmm. and if you're happy with the person you are, uh, and if not, fix it. Right. What is the, uh, I think there's a saying where it's like, you are not who you think you are. You are who other people think that you are. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So that sounds way more in depth and perceptive than I really am. But yeah, um, anything not making you happy, uh, especially eating, eat well, helps with <laughs> being happy. That's a good one. Get fit, get in the gym, it'll make you happy. A lot of things that uh, if you're sad can make you happy that are really easy to fix, man. That's true. Find someone you love, have sex with them, get married. Get married, have sex, and that's better wife advice order, but whatever. Yeah, you do whatever you want. Uh, that's, that's, that's good stuff. I mean, Anyway, hey, gentlemen, thank you uh, for stopping by. Mr. Mayfield, thanks for showing up to the channel. Hey, it's a great honor you. to have you thank on you. here. Uh, yeah. it, you you want to bounce out? I'm a, yeah, I'm going to leave now. Okay, yeah. I got my, well, my mom's making dinner, so I... Is she, what, was she making the chickies? The nuggies? The nuggies, yeah. If you want to come over afterwards, but she said you're not allowed upstairs anymore because you wore your shoes. That's fair. Yeah. Gentlemen, hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are sacrifice to the algorithm. God! If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon. Excellent way to support the channel. I release videos earlier to my Patreon users as well as uh, we chat. We have a good time as a Discord. Maybe a few feds in there. Who knows? Mm, merchandise is an excellent way to support the channel. If you want to buy some merchandise, it really helps the channel out. And I appreciate you greatly. Guys, have a good one. And I'll catch you on the flip.